shut the screen door. We've seen dozens of videos like this signifying the arrival of the Miller Moths, and researchers up at CSU say we'll be seeing many more of them. CBS4's Karen Morfitt wanted to find out why. One thing we all know about moths is they love the light, but there's probably a lot more that you don't know, like how your landscaping could be attracting them in the first place. Just one of those bug things. That's one way to describe the arrival of Miller moths in Colorado. And then there's the other way. I absolutely hate them. Love them or hate them, they're here again. For those who have swarms showing up on their front porch, it may seem like a record year. But Dr. Frank Pierce, a professor of entomology at Colorado State University, says it could be worse. It's been below average for the last four years. So people have sort of forgotten about them. An average me year means some people are going to be bothered by them and some aren't. In a bad year, everybody will be bothered by them. Dr. Pierce says the moths head west from the plains into the mountains to feed on flowering plants, some finding a better stop along the way. The other part of it is that they are attracted to lights. Urbanized and suburbanized areas are going to be attractive. While harmless to most, those that make their way indoors can be a nuisance and for some even a bit frightening. Mm. But most say it's a sacrifice that comes with living in Colorado. I'm definitely used to it, but I think I forget. And we have years like this year where they're worse than others. Dr. Pierce says dry conditions this year over last year and an early freeze have led to more moths in our yards and gardens. The good news, he says warmer nights will help speed up the migration. We have more helpful information, including on how you can get rid of some of those moths at CBSDenver.com. In Thornton, Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First.